the 96, seeing as much as a quarter of an inch of rain. But look at these stats. Rainiest day in over a month, 33 days since we've seen a tenth of an inch of rain. It was also our cloudiest day where we saw zero minutes of possible sunshine in Grand Rapids since March 31st. So it's been very dry, very sunny here in West Michigan. And it's also our coldest afternoon since May 17th, almost a month there as well. So it's been a long time since we've had a day like this. And man, it's a pretty nice welcoming, but look at how chilly it is in the UP. Temps in the mid 40s right now, 56 currently in Grand Rapids, where average highs this afternoon normally around 78 degrees. We only hit 67, and that was at 1 a.m. here in Grand Rapids. We were only at 63 on through the afternoon. Good news is on Monday, we do see a little bit of sunshine peeking through as we catch a lull in the majority of this rain system. We do see temperatures back to the mid 60s. Monday night though, clouds will increase as the system wraps around and we do look at the chance for maybe a quarter of an inch of rain on Tuesday, uh, maybe some isolated heavier amounts, but Grand Rapids, not a big chance for rain here until we get to Thursday. And it looks like that'll be the best chance for widespread accumulations. So here's a low pressure system centered in central Ohio right now. That's where the heaviest pockets of rain are. You can see the broadband that we had seen here earlier in the day, now well off to the east in southern Ontario, Canada. Now, this system went a little bit more south up down towards Cincinnati than it did up towards Cleveland than originally forecasted. That's why our rain just ended up a little on the lighter side and the high pressure system off to our west. Now, that played a little bigger part in drying us out here just a little bit earlier as well. So here's future track. Notice the rain continues to push to the east. We do see this cloud deck kind of fizzle out as well. We may see some decent sunshine uh, for at least a few hours as we go through Monday afternoon. Can't rule out a pop up shower, but most of us will remain dry. And then we go into Monday night and Tuesday morning. The system wraps back around. That's the low pressure system. We'll see rain mainly focused down near I-94 in the state line, Grand Rapids, Muskegon, and up towards Big Rapids. Not great rain chances. We'll go scattered at best. Best chance for any scattered showers would be down near Kalamazoo. And you can see on future track for rainfall over the next 48 hours, it does pick up some areas, maybe at a half an inch of rain, but Grand Rapids, Fremont, Ionia, not looking at a lot. And with that, it's going to be windy. Not that you're going to want to get to the beach anyway with the rain chances, but the winds have been high. We have small craft advisories in effect and much cooler air. But things go back to a spring-like pattern here as we get into Thursday. More rain chances out for the weekend, thankfully. Temperatures are back to the 80s, and it looks like long-term we may start to trend warmer than average, which really at this point is kind of a bad thing. I'd like to take our seasonable temps in the 70s and 80s with as many rain chances as possible to alleviate our six inch rain deficit that we're in right now.